and welcome to this edition of News Leader on 6. I'm Jenny English. And I'm Abigail English. In tonight's news, Motlow College celebrates their 50th anniversary this weekend and we'll tell you about the new Coffee County Hyperreach program. We'll have these stories and more on tonight's News Leader on 6. Keith Barnett here at Russell Barnett Kia in Tullahoma. Only two remaining 2018 Kia Stingers, up to $10,000 off original MSRP. That's Russell Barnett Kia in Tullahoma, home of the lifetime firetrain warranty. And remember, my question is, why buy anywhere else? You made the time and the sacrifice to broaden their horizons to see their smiles, but mostly to make lifelong memories. We think it's time to do it again, just the two of you. Don't let illness or injury slow you down. The rehab team at Life Care Center of Tullahoma is ready to help you live well. It was us, we let the dogs out. Bark in the Park is Saturday, November 2nd from 10 until 2 at Wagner Park. Come out and help support the Tullahoma Animal Shelter's medical fund during a day of barking family fun that includes dog contests, grooming, pup paw art, a bounce house, and more. Contact Jeff Wilson at the Tullahoma Animal Shelter to learn more. Welcome back. The 10th annual Highland Rim Kiwanis Club's 41A Music Festival is coming up this weekend. John Gray spoke with Chad Moyer about this year's event. I've got Chad Moyer here with us today, and it is time. 10th annual 41A, 41A Festival. That is correct. Done by the Kiwanis Club. <clears throat> uh, the Highland Rim Kiwanis Highland Club. Highland Rim Kiwanis Club. Yeah, most folks don't know that. We are the Highland Rim Kiwanis Club. And it's music. It's food. Yeah. It's dancing. Music, fun. Food, crafts. fun, oh, crowd, yeah. crafts. All the stores will wait. have special things going on. Gain about ten pounds. Gain that about weekend. ten pounds. Oh, that have weekend. beverages of your choice. Beverages of your choice, courtesy of L and H distribution and uh, Cherokee distribution. Yeah, that's right. Man. Uh, we have some help from Coca Cola, one of our sponsors. All right. That. I have all kinds of things out there this weekend, and it's and it's music, and music, lots and, music. and lots of music. Now, now the music will start what on Friday after Friday evening. Friday evening, the gates will open at five o'clock, mm -hmm. um, and then music will start at six. And your last act will come on at what about ten? About we should we should end up between ten ten thirty is when the act should follow uh, should finish. Okay. So we've got three bands playing on Friday night. You, you have those committed to memory? We of do. Course you uh, do. I've, been, I've been studying back there, <laughs> trying to remember everything. Uh, Friday night, we'll have uh, Bad Monkey start us off at 6 o'clock. Then we'll have Mary Catherine Williams, and then followed up by The Reckless. So that'll and be our the Friday Reckless, night. I'm not familiar with them. Are uh, they from the Reckless somewhere is, else? Uh, the Reckless is a uh, pop country uh, cover band, so they're going to be singing a lot of a lot of country songs that we're all familiar this is the south it is in our blood so yeah whether you like it or not you're going to be out there there's going to be something that you're going to want to listen to and and then of course there's going to be food vendors there there's always any kind of food that you want to any eat any kind of food uh, and you got, need to also remember there's downtown businesses will be open so yeah. so you've got daddy billy's is open and london's will be open and 122 will be open and mm -hmm. and you can <clears> wander <throat> around and and take advantage wander of around. sales and we'll have the the streets closed off where people can cannot uh can just we'll walk get run over by to. a car. Well, I was going to say that, but I was like, yeah, maybe I shouldn't. Hey, and there's usually a kid zone. There will be a kid zone. Uh, it'll be a little bit smaller than it has in the past, but we're still going to have some cool things for the kids. Right. So. Now, then on Saturday, Saturday, music uh, starts. Gates will open at 1, and then music will start at 2 o'clock, starting with uh, Chase Clinton and the Vintage Vibes. Um, we will have Southern Moss come in. Then we have Stagger Moon. Um, the Boogie Nights will co-headline with Rubik's Groove. With Rubik's Groove. Rubik's Groove. They are a very fun band. Um, they dress up in 80s attire. But no, uh, Friday night and Saturday night are both going to be great nights. Family entertainment. Folks can bring it's their great. kids out. Um, it's going to be family friendly and safe. 
lots of food. Uh, we understand that uh, homecoming is Friday night as well, but those that uh, that you know want to stay away from the uh, football crowd, so to speak, can feel free to bring their family on down and come have a good time. A fishing tournament and silent auction fundraiser was held last weekend at the Thames Ford Bass Club to benefit Mason Phillips, a young man battling cancer. Many volunteers, including the Coffee County High School's wrestling team, were on hand to assist with the event. News leaders Jerry Harris and his daughter Reagan Hartman bring us this story. What you're doing? All right, guys, we're out here at Tim's Ford Bass Club. It is September the 21st. We are hosting a fishing tournament to raise money for St. Jude Children. I'm sorry, Ronald McDonald House Charities, Vanderbilt Medical Center, and it's all for a local boy, Mason Phillips, who's been battling brain cancer for the past several months. We've got all kinds of stuff here you can come bid on. We're doing a silent auction as well as a raffle. We've got these amazing t-shirts designed by his dad, Jeff Phillips that has all of the different sponsors, all the local sponsors, business sponsors. I mean, the entire community has come together to really help this young man out. And we've got so many people from Tullahoma, Winchester, and Manchester, thank you, that have volunteered their time to help out today. So we've got hats to support the cause, Mason Strong bands that everyone needs to have one of. These lovely ladies have made all of these homemade goodies that you definitely want to try. They took the sugar out of them too. Yeah, that's what he says. Yeah. <laughs> that's what he says. All kinds of local baked goods. We've got some kayaks that we're going to be raffling off. Big screen TVs. Custom made. Check out these cornhole boards. Custom made cornhole boards. <laughs> that come with their own bags. We've got a custom set of um, high performance tires. We've got a, a luxury mattress set arriving in a little bit. Just look at all of this swag. Now, for those of you that don't know, our goal this week is to raise $50,000 for this cause. We're part of the way there. We still have a little bit further to go. We've got Charlie Allen coming to play and do a music set here in a little bit. We're gonna have barbecue plates, hamburgers, hot dogs, drinks, bounce houses for the kids, just about anything, something for the whole family here. So come on out and join us and let's help this young man in his great fun. Our goal was to have 100 fishermen, 100 boats to show up for the tournament. We had 126 show up that were lying down the street this morning. So they're all out fishing. We're bidding on our prizes. Stay with us, more news is coming up. Keith Barnett here at Russell Barnett Key in Tullahoma. Check out the 2019 fully loaded V6 Kia Sorento up to $6,400 off original MSRP. That's Russell Barnett Key in Tullahoma, home of the lifetime powertrain warranty. And remember, why buy anywhere else? Ah, the glory days. Running to daylight on the gridiron and chasing a ball with a mind of its own. Cheering the team to victory and marching to the beat of your own drum. Memories that last a lifetime. But sometimes we're reminded of our glory days in ways we'd rather forget. Get back in the game. The rehab team at Life Care Center of Tullahoma is ready to help you live and play well. Welcome back. Motlow State Community College will celebrate their 50th anniversary this weekend. Jim spoke with Brenda Cannon and college president Dr. Michael Torrance about the festivities. We're uh, pleased to have joining us now from uh, Motlow State Community College. To my left is Brenda Cannon and to uh, her left is Dr. Michael Torrance and they're here today to tell us about some really neat things that are happening at Motlow College. Brenda, big party coming up. Big party coming up. Uh, for those of you who are unaware, um, we are celebrating Motlow College. Your community college is celebrating its 50th anniversary. And that is just wonderful. And while we were doing our uh, preliminary conversations, you said you remember when Motlow opened. Yeah, I do. Wow. And that was a huge, huge wow. deal. That at, was a at, huge, at that huge time, deal. Yes. We opened in 1969, September 22nd, to be exact. Mm -hmm. And on this weekend, 
uh, Saturday and Sunday. We are celebrating our 50th anniversary. It's free, it's fun, it's family centered and uh, children focused. So we invite all of you to come out and be with us. On Saturday from two to five, it's uh, family fun day. Community colleges are so anchored in families because uh, a lot of our students are adult students uh, and they are married, they have children. Uh, and these are the people who support the student as they progress through college. So we cannot have a celebration without celebrating the family. So we're celebrating the family because uh, that's what we are about. So on Saturday from two to five, we invite you to come bring your children, your grandchildren, your parents, your um, next of kin, your next door neighbor, <laughs> Food, family, uh, cake, birthday celebration, classic car cruising, program jam. The program jam is an academic uh, display of the multiple programs we have. Uh, some of the uh, areas have gotten really innovative with what they're going to present. Fun things and uh, it's an opportunity for uh, young children children to have fun and teenagers to explore uh, career possibilities. Also on Saturday, Utopia, JT Northcutt oh, and his great band, band yeah. they're going to rock the house. Uh, all of us enjoy JT. Uh, JT went to Montlow College in its early years, and he's excited to come back and help us celebrate. JT's been rocking houses for a long time JT's as well. JT's been rocking yeah, houses yeah, for I a mean, long time. Him. That is right. Yeah. And he still can rock <laughs> a house. He still okay? can, yes. He can still rock a house. Right. Uh, following that, we are having an alumni reception. All of us know that alumni are key uh, to college, a uh, college, a university success. With the community college, uh, alumni are kind of hard to rally because a lot of our students transfer to four-year institutions mm -hmm. and they attach themselves to the institution that they receive their bachelor's degree from rather than their associate's degree. But within the foundation, the Montlow College Foundation, Elaine Yoda, Sharon Bateman, and Phyllis Daniel have done a tremendous job of rallying alumni and trying to revive the Alumni Association. So if you are an alum of Montlow College dating back from the time the doors opened. We invite you to this celebration, but you must RSVP to come, and only adults can come to this. And that celebration will be held in the Clayton Glass Library. Mm -hmm. um, the newest building on campus, the absolutely beautiful architecture, um, and Saturday you'll get to see some of the wonderful things that the campus looks like. The 1969 campus is not the campus <laughs> of 2019, no. okay? So we invite you to come. And it's so interesting when people come back, they'll say, wow, it didn't look like this when I was here. Oh, right, right. And yeah, the model that opened in 69, we have the same mission, the same purpose, but it's a little bit different. There will also be a Founders Day celebration on Sunday, September 29th from 2 to 4 p.m. in Oaf Hall. That event includes special music, a reception, recognition of the founding families who helped start Motlow State, and a history of the college as told by Brenda Cannon and Scott Shastein. More news is coming up in a moment. It's not invoice. It's not MSRP. It's not Christmas Day, although it may feel like it. It's the lowest prices in Middle Tennessee, period. Get to Stan McNabb Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram or Stan McNabb Chevrolet Buick GMC Cadillac before these prices are gone forever. All right, the cat's out of the bag at Carroll Street Liquor in Tullahoma. Now you know where to go if you're planning a get-together and want the ideal wine or spirit. Party planning can be stressful, but at Carroll Street Liquor, you'll find everything you need. Mixers, gift sets, and all of your favorite spirit brands. So if you're feeling the pressure to pull off the ideal party, come to Carroll Street Liquor and select among the seemingly endless supply of wines, spirits, gift sets, and more. Your perfect party, it's in the bag with Carroll Street Liquors. Welcome back. 
Jenny spoke recently with Tallahoma High School Band Director Justin Scott about the band's trip to Ireland next year. Everybody in the community probably also remembers that the band went to Hawaii a few years ago and now the next opportunity for you to travel is coming up and tell us about where you're going to go. So we uh, started looking at uh, different areas to, to apply to and, and we thought about going back to Hawaii, we thought about uh, some other locations, but Ireland just kind of kept coming back to us. Um, we had a great time traveling with our, the Gateway Tour company that we travel with to uh, Hawaii. They did a great job. And one of the other offerings that they had was to apply to perform in Ireland. So uh, this whole process started a few years ago. Uh, Lisa Burden and I, uh, we were at a national conference in Chicago and we met with uh, the Lord Mayor of Dublin and they had a, a reception for band directors and bands that were interested in applying for Ireland. So we got a lot of information uh, at that meeting and then decided, yeah, this is something we want to apply for and it's been uh, a long process we started uh, last year gathering recordings and uh, getting the application filled out for everything we applied uh, in at the end of last school year and then we heard back officially uh, basically right at the start of this school year and we got an official letter of declaration from the Lord Mayor of Dublin that we were invited to perform in the 2021 St. Patrick's Day Festival and Parade in uh, Dublin Ireland so we are going to be traveling there and uh, we're looking forward to it it's going to be a great opportunity and a great culture experience for our students. It's going to be awesome. And so these students, you're going to encounter Tullahoma band students from this point until March of 2021 who are going to be fundraising mm -hmm. to help themselves pay for those trips to Ireland. So what are the things that we're going to see over the next several months in terms of fundraising opportunities? Yeah. So the me next one will be our uh, annual Marchathon fundraiser. Uh, that is, you're going to be hearing, hearing a lot about that. We'll be marching through the neighborhoods and we'll have more information coming out soon exactly where we're going. But uh, the students will be utilizing the majority of that to fundraise um, for Ireland to help help get them to Ireland. So uh, that that will be the first big fundraiser we have. The next one will be our annual fruit sale. Uh, so if, and that will happen right leading up to right before Christmas time. So encourage you to to buy some some Christmas fruit and support your families and. and gift people things if you want to do that but uh, that will be a fundraiser then we'll have a few more in the spring coming up our annual like butter bread and coffee fundraiser that we do and and some various ones like that but uh, but yeah so definitely the first one around the corner is going to be the marchathon so we're really looking hoping to get some support for that so okay and the date for the marchathon is that October 19th I believe I don't have my calendar in front of me but it's a Saturday October 19th and okay. uh, that'll be the day that we march around the city of Tullahoma and uh, in the past, we've done uh, performances for uh, different nursing homes, or last year we did a, a standstill performance for uh, firefighters and policemen and first responders and over at the Lowe's parking lot, and that was a great turnout for that, and we had a great time. So we plan to continue that tradition and, and support all the different groups and the people that support us, and it's a great way for us to give back to our community for all the support they give us. Sounds great. And so if you're interested in stopping by to see one of those performances for the high school band, they do go through a couple of neighborhoods, but then they do have those standstill performances. And closer to that date, those standstill performances mm -hmm. will be on the band's website. Yeah. If you'd like to get on the website and see where to go and what time you should be there to watch one, what's the website for that? Our band website is uh, www.tullahomabands.org. That's plural, B-A-N-D-S, tullahomabands.org. And we'll have more information in the coming weeks on there. Okay, great. Thank you for being here today. Thank you. We'll be right back with more news later after this. The wait is finally over. The all-new redesigned Ford Ranger is back at Russell Barnett Ford of Tullahoma. Stop and test drive one today at Russell Barnett Ford of Tullahoma on Highway 55, home of the lifetime powertrain warranty. And remember, my question is, why buy anywhere else? Here at Manchester Funeral Home, we know the importance of living and working in our local community because it's those families who we serve during their time of need honorably. We believe in supporting local business and offer only 100% Batesville caskets, the best in the industry and a driver of our local economy. If you want straightforward and fair pricing while working with the people you know, choose Manchester Funeral Home, serving your community since 1932. And pre-planning and pre-funding can be the best gift you ever leave your loved ones. Call us to pre-arrange. Manchester Funeral Home. Our family, caring for your family since 1932. Welcome back. Coffee County has a new way to communicate with citizens in the event of an emergency. The County Emergency Management Director and the 911 Director tell us more. So what we've done is we've uh, looked at various mass notification systems uh -huh. for our community. Mm -hmm. uh, now you obviously get alerts 
you know the tornado warnings and things normally through your cell phone but what this does is uh, it reaches out it, it has the the 911 landline data so you can get those notifications at home through your landlines as well mm -hmm. it's called hyperreach it's the vendor we chose uh, and like I say you have to go and sign up for it but you, if you have a landline, it's automatically on there. Is that correct? Yes, we downloaded all of the landline phone numbers to the HyperReach system. Uh -huh. So they have all the landlines. Okay. It's just the people with the cell phones, which is the majority of people now, they have to sign up. And it's either you can call, you can text, you can get on the website and just go search for hyperreach coffee county sign up and it'll take you through and you just sign up five minutes if or less to sign up for it okay so you, you're what you have to give them your cell phone number i assume yes obviously. yes sir. and if i understood you correctly you said that you, you already have the landlines Is that yes right? we already have the landlines installed that was part of the program and what this allows uh, the 911 center to do and, and us to do is in times of uh, if, if we need to evacuate an area. Mm -hmm. if, you, if you think back a couple of months ago, we had that uh, train derailment on the south side of Tullahoma. Yes, right. Well, had that been in Tullahoma and had there been something bad on it, uh, we could have used this system to evacuate a certain area. So it asks for your address, your cell phone number, your landline number, and all of that information. Uh, also your work location mm -hmm. and so that way it knows to send that alert specifically to you based on that area that no we kidding. evacuate. That's, that's pretty right. neat. Yeah. Right. I, I remember there was also another situation where uh, supposedly I think someone had a gun or something mm -hmm. somewhere in Tullahoma and they had to evacuate that neighborhood. So, right, right, so right. With, with this system you can do that. Yes. Is that yes. right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You draw what they call a polygon just like the weather service would draw uh -huh. on a map. And it allows you to, to evacuate, you know, any distance that you want. So it it's a really good system. Uh, we started looking at this uh, a little over a year ago uh, because we needed some type of mass notification system in the county. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, we have the the normal federal alerts. So like you get the amber alerts and the I think they call it the silver alert now yes. for uh, of the Alzheimer's people and. Mm -hmm. Um, but we needed something besides that for local emergencies that may not out, you know, overreach the boundaries of the county, but something local that we, we could use to notify our people of an emergency in the county. Okay. So where does that, those notifications, are they automatically uh, initiated or you guys have got to initiate them somehow or other? Some are automatic notifications. The weather. The weather. The weather notifications are. Like a tornado. One. Right. It's not going to be like... You know, there's precipitation in the area. It'll be your main tornadoes, right. you know, flash flooding, stuff like that. Uh, in the case of a train derailment, does that get initiated through the, your office, Alan, or through your office? It, it would be a joint effort. Mm -hmm. Would it? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, it depends on if we're out on the scene and, and operating. Uh, then all it takes is one phone call to Diane's folks, and they can they can send that out, or we can do it uh, remotely mm -hmm. as well. Right. So, in case there is like a major emergency evacuation or something, our dispatchers are going to be crazy, crazy of busy course. because they're going to be getting phone calls or trying to get first responders to the scene. So that's why we kind of teamed up with EMA, and we're going to coordinate who sends out what, so we're not duplicating it. And when you do get the alerts, you can sign up to have it set to a text, a phone call, email. You choose how you want to get it, or you can choose all of them. So that way, you're gonna get, you'll get the alert. Is, and is this a free service? Yes. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. all Absolutely. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Absolutely. And uh, and so we're gonna be. Uh, I, I just spoke with somebody from the 41A Music Fest. I think we're gonna be set up there, uh -huh. signing up. Because there's a lot of folks, Jimmy, uh, that that don't know how to operate a computer or don't like to operate a computer. Sure. Uh, so we're going to be set up with computers for people to sign up at the 41A Fest. Uh, we also are going to be at Old Timers Day. We have right. a table set up at Old Timers Day, and we have some flyers that we can hand out. And, you know, 
there's a little sign up sheet that we can do and if they don't feel comfortable calling in or texting or getting on the web doing it if they'll fill out the form Alan and I will put it in for them. Okay. We want to make it as easy as we can for people to get notified because this has been our really our first really notification that we're trying to get you know people to sign up. Initially it was just word of mouth and we had almost a thousand people without any anything but just word of mouth so we were excited about that so. It's a great idea and, uh, and uh However, now don't call nine one one and tell them you want to, buy, <laughs> want to get this. Cause, no. but you, uh, you can go to coffeecountytn.gov, uh -huh. uh, and it's on the website. So there's a link on the website. Just click on the link, and it'll walk you through the process. It's very simple to sign up. Probably takes less than two minutes. Yeah, it's not very long. <clears throat> and we have Facebook pages, Coffee County <coughs> Communication Center, and Coffee County Emergency Management. They can see how they sign up there. Stay with us. Your weather forecast is coming up after these messages. Mustang Sally. You better slow that Mustang down at Russell Barnett Ford and Tullahoma on Highway 55, where you can receive up to $4,000 off original MSRP. That's Russell Barnett Ford and Tullahoma. And remember, my question is, why buy anywhere else? When your family suffers the loss of a loved one, the caring and compassionate staff at Tullahoma Funeral Home and Coffee County Funeral Chapel are standing by to assist you in every way possible. We are proud to support local industry and offer only Batesville caskets. Many funeral homes don't own or operate a crematory. We utilize the only crematory in Coffee County. Your loved one never leaves Coffee County. We can accommodate any need and any budget. Consider our complete pre-need service to remove this burden from your family during their time of grief. Lock in today's low costs and protect from inflation. Tullahoma Funeral Home and Coffee County Funeral Chapel. Our family caring for your family. We're losing it, Doctor. Not on my shift quickly. Brush. Roller. What a transformation. It's going to be okay. Okay, nothing. At Paintworks of Tullahoma, we specialize in domestic emergencies with Martin Senior Paints. You can be the paint doctor, too, when you treat your home with Martin Senior interior and exterior finishes. Doctor, we've got another one. Got you covered. Paintworks of Tullahoma. Come see the paint doctor stat. Welcome back. We're going to take a look at our weather forecast, starting with our weather history. Our record high was in, 19, in 1897 at 91 degrees. Our record low was in 1928 at 35 degrees. The average high on this day is 78, and the average low is 55. For tonight, look for partly cloudy weather with a low of 63. And on Friday, partly cloudy with a high of 90 and a low of 69. And on Saturday, mostly sunny with a high of 91 and a low of 67. And that's it for this edition of News Leader on 6. Join us here on Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday at 6, 8, and 10. Have a good evening.